What's going on guys? Well, it is day one of the Kenyan medical mission trip and I'm sitting here at the airport about to board to Germany. I have to say that leaving Phoebe was probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Man, I already miss her so much and we've only been apart for like maybe an hour. You know? But I know I will see her in two weeks so it is going to be okay. All right, well, before I get to the rest of the video, I want you guys to know that you are greatly, greatly loved and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine. We've got a fire blazing in our hearts. No, we're never gonna stop until the whole world knows who you are, who you are. All right, guys, just to clue you in a little bit, I don't know how much I am going to be able to vlog, but I do want to share with you guys a little bit. So I am going to at least at a bare minimum do a nightly recap of my day. Outside of that, I will just be sharing with you guys as much as I can. All right, and at the end of our mission trip, Phoebe and I get to do a safari for two days, which we used only our own money for. Okay, so we're spending our own money to go on that, um, but we will be doing that at the end of the mission trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, I love you guys greatly. I hope you guys have an incredible, incredible month because it's going to be about a month or longer before I post this. God bless and much love. All right, guys, so the first stop is Frankfurt, Germany, and then I'll be going to Nairobi after that. So I'm currently on this ginormous, ginormous plane. I'm about to get going. I think it's about an eight-hour flight. So hopefully I'll get some good books read and then also um, get some good sleep, hopefully. I have my traveling partner here with me to keep me company while the wife is away. All right, time to get to reading and then get some rest. All right, guys, so we've been flying for a couple hours now, I think probably two and a half hours, and it is time for some dinner on this plane. Uh, the only other time I've ever received like full meals on a plane was when I went to uh, Sierra Leone, West Africa. So pretty exciting. I don't know how healthy it is for you, but I will not be tracking this on my fitness pal, so it'll be all right. So let's say a quick prayer and then get to this dinner. I dare not fly. I just want to thank you so much for this amazing, amazing opportunity to go serve you um, around the world. You know, we get to serve you wherever we're at every single day. But what a great opportunity it is that I get to serve you across the world. I ask that you bless this food. God, I ask that you bless my subscribers that are listening right now. Um, and that you just have an impact on their life. God, I pray for the people in Kenya. I ask that you prepare their hearts uh, to be receptive of your word. I ask that you prepare my heart to be the most servant heart it could possibly be. And uh, I pray for this fruit. I uh, thank you um, just for your love and your mercy and your grace. We love you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay guys, so quickly I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. So I just got off the plane and now I'm here at Frankfurt, Germany. It is 6 in the morning their time, whereas it is about 12.40 my time. So I'm pretty exhausted. I may just pass out here on this table here or this nice area here and take me a little bit of a nap before my next flight. So I have about a four hour layover before I head to Nairobi. I think this uh, flight is about 10 hours maybe. It's pretty long as well. So I won't get there till late tonight. So I'm just gonna hang out here in the airport. Probably not gonna film too much. Mick me and, Mick me and I are just gonna go take a nap. So this is actually Phoebe's little doll that we got while we were at Disney. I bought it for her. But I've kind of fell in love with him, so I've I stolen him, him, and I'm going to take him everywhere with me. And she sprayed her perfume on him, which smells incredible. Makes me feel like she's here. It's only day one. I miss her a ton, but I know it's going to get easier. Once we get to Tinwick Hospital, once we get to Nairobi, it's going to get much, much easier. All right, guys. That's it for now. God bless. We are now only about 30 minutes from arriving in Kenya. Super, super excited that the ride has been very good. It was about 8 to 10 hours. I read Brad Schoenfeld's Hypertrophy book. I also read uh, Financial Peace at the University, the Financial Planning book. And I read another book. Um, it's called Something for Young Men. I can't remember the exact title, but a lot of reading, a lot of uh, good time of sleeping as well. But the trip has been incredible, and now we're almost there. You know, wait. Go ahead, Tommy. 
Well guys, I'm here with all the doctors and we have now got all of our luggage and we are about to head to the convent house. Ooh, that was well guys, I am so sorry about the sporadic recording. So I was recording at the airport and I know that we are not supposed to necessarily record um, near any government official buildings. I did not know the airport was included. And so I almost got in a little bit of trouble, but thank God the guy was nice to me. He was just like, I know you're new here. Make sure you do not have your camera out anywhere in sight. Uh, so the government official let me off nicely. Praise the Lord. And now we're here at our hotel room. I want to uh, let you guys see it before I go eat dinner with the rest of the doctors. Um, so here we go. We are at a guest house here, or a hotel here. Um, we're going to be staying here uh, for the night before we go to the hospital tomorrow. So yeah, pretty nice setup actually, you know, got a little mosquito net there. But yeah. So this is the hotel room for the night and then we have a five hour drive to go to Tinwood Hospital tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to go grab dinner and I'll just give a little quick recap um, of my day and uh, just kind of how I felt about it. Jumbo, jumbo buona, habari gandhi, nsuri sana, wageni, mwakaribishwa, Kenya yetu, hakuna matata, sote jumbo, jumbo. Jambo bwana habari gani nzuri sana wageni wetu uh, all right guys so i just got to bed uh, the food here was absolutely incredible i do not know what the majority of it was i do know there was some chicken and some beef um, and then also some like type of beans or lentils all of it was super super good oh yes my beautiful wife is calling me okay so i will be back in just a second Hello, sweetheart. All right, guys, just really quick, I'm gonna give a quick recap of my day. So I was on the plane for ever um, going to Germany. I had a five hour layover, and then I was on the plane again for about 10 more hours, um, which then we arrived in Kenya. And to be honest, arriving in Kenya was so incredible. It reminded me so much of Grenada. Literally, the locals here were so, so nice, so loving, super pumped to you know see everyone. It was just really a great experience. Customs went super smoothly. Um, so yeah, it was all super nice. Then we come back to our hotel, which I was very, very surprised with. Not a hotel, it's like a guest house. Super surprised with, it's very nice as well. Well, well, all you guys can see right now are my mosquito nets. <laughs> but yeah, it's super nice. Um, we ate some dinner. It was a buffet, some great Kenyan food. And now I got to crash because I have to get up in about six hours because I want to get a workout in before we head out for the day. All right, guys, I'm getting off here. Hope you guys like day one of this Kenyan mission trip, even though we didn't get to see too much in the videoing was kind of spliced up a lot so sorry about that hopefully the videos in the future will be better um, I love you guys so much and again I cannot thank you guys enough for all of your love and support truly it means the world to me oh and also talking to Phoebe was amazing but also broke my heart I hate seeing her sad I hate being sad I hate us being apart honestly leaving her was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do and just like it felt like it felt like my heart was literally being torn out of my chest. Like, I know that we're not supposed to be apart. You know, like marriage, you're united as one forever. Um, and just being separated, um, even just for a short, a short amount of time, really makes you realize that and cherish um, one another so much more. All right, that's all I have for you guys tonight. Um, God bless. Much love. I want you guys to know that you are greatly, greatly loved and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine. Thank you.